Okay, folks, what we're doing today is going to show you the top of the Edda. And just for you that um, don't know anything about them, the word tapa is, means cover. So if you go to a tapas bar in Spain, that's why they put the food over the drink. Keep the flies out of the drink. Imagine that. So these are tapa de edas. Now, in other parts of the country, which would be past El Paso, they're tapaderas. And that's a different... Tapioca is what we eat at lunch. These are tapaderas. California style. This is 10 inches wide and 9 inches wide. These taps are old 1950, old school. This is what is in the store. That's a four inch Manel stirrup. Okay, so the stirrup thing, what you run into is people have preferences of what they want. But if you've never had taps, what I can tell you is that if you put a four inch stirrup in there, it keeps this flat. If you put a narrow stirrup in there, it makes the, over time, the leather comes in. So this keeps them nice and shaped the correct way they're supposed to be. So there's your California style. Now you can add anything you want to it. You could put a nice big round concho right there. Some guys put a concho and then they'd have a big heavy steel washer on the inside so they would hang more. And then when they slap the horse or turn the cow, they would make a pop. Well, in the alley, if you can imagine cattle coming at you, you can do this and it's the same height as a calf's eye. So you can slow the calf down and let the cow go by. Um, a lot of old school guys, they would be able to, with the 26 inch taps, they would be able to slap them underneath the horse, which I have no idea why, except that I smell a wreck coming. But and some guys would use them to put in the shoulders over the cover the shoulders of their horse going through the brush. But my own personal taps, I'm not cool enough to have long 26 inch taps because I would never get it on my coming 17 hand colt. If you do the math, that's why I have the short ones. We have short horses. Anyway, this is what they look like, and this has been treated with olive oil. That's why the the carving comes out when you put olive oil on it. It protects the leather plus it brings the beauty of the carving out. These are very well done. So that's a story on that kind. Okay folks, now this is a bulldog type. As you can tell it's a different style. And uh, these are actually real common in the southwest. And uh, what I've found after working in all the states in the West is that for me personally, the sagebrush in this country is really short compared to like up north. In Nevada, I've been in sagebrush that's five feet tall. So that's another reason I don't ride the big long ones because they'll drag through the brush. But anyway, this is a bulldog type rough out. And these come smooth or rough out or t smooth and tooled or just smooth. Four foot stirrup, I mean four inch stirrup inside once again. And they kind of match the rough out saddle. Now this is what they'll look like 20 years from now. These were made in 1980. And I've had them through a couple. You can tell I overhaul everything I own. But uh, believe it or not, I had my brand on here 40 years ago. And these stirrups, some of you... Northerners might recognize the old school Canadian oak ones. That's what these are. The heavy ones when they used to come out of Canada, the good ones. So there's another look of what they're going to look like when you're done. In so 40 years. In 40 years. <laughs> but, now typically the bulldog caps are a little lighter weight too, right? Yeah, they're a little lighter because there's less leather. And uh, what you got to remember is that I think that's 11 and this is 10 from tip to here. And this fits my wear a 9 boot and my heel goes right against the stirrup. So my toe sits right inside there. And uh, that's a little longer. But 
Anyway, taps are a good deal. There's a lot of reasons for them. And they look cool. And uh, they're, a, they're a traditional style, old school piece of equipment. So. Are you going to say a few words about the dinger? That's a dinger over there, if you can't tell the difference between him and Chinaco. <laughs> this is the, the indigenous horse to Austria. Now this horse is 20 years old. At least. 24. 24 years old. Looks like he's four years old. So he's not made a lot of really big circles. Aww. But he's a really tough horse. I, I started him 20 some years ago. I might as well tell you what happened. When I started him I had about 10 rides on him and I high centered him in a, a washout in an arroyo in Arizona and I just stepped I basically rolled off and stood up and watched him and he had his legs stuck on this side and that side and he was high centered on his belly. And I just kind of jumped at him, made him waller his way out of there. But it was a pretty funny moment. Anyway, I've tied cattle down with him. So, there you go.